Good morning everyone, Danielle here. Um, so it is October 18th, the day after my birthday. Um, I would like to thank everyone here on YouTube, um, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, who wished me a happy birthday. We're much appreciated. Um, people asked me yesterday, um, and even this morning, what I did for my birthday. Um, I worked yesterday. Um, yeah, I just got up and kind of just hung around the house, you know, you know, made, made my other video. Um, but yeah, I just kind of hung around the house and then went to work. I mean, as you get older, your birthdays become, I don't want to say less important, but it's just like, you know, it's not like when you're a kid and you don't have responsibilities and stuff like that. So, you know, could I have taken yesterday off and been like, oh, I'm just going to chill for my birthday, you know? Yeah, I could have, but... You know, this Friday I'm going out to Margaritas with a bunch of friends to celebrate my birthday, so that'll be fun. You know, it's and it's on my day off, so you know, and you know, it might be a little further out past my birthday at the end of the week, but that's that, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so um, what I want to talk to you guys about today is that something that um, uh, a user um, brought up to me or asked me a question, um, saying um. You make a lot of these videos and you talk about different things and like he said um, you talk a lot about love in a couple of them um, and I said yeah you know I, I do because love is important you know I, I'm the kind of person that wears their heart on their sleeve kind of thing uh, heart tattoo you know um, and it's like I've been single for quite a while and, you know, um, I know a lot of people who are transgender, like even in my support groups and friends who are transgender, uh, people who I'm friends with on Facebook, here on YouTube, you know, Instagram, Twitter, all that, you know, that say, you know, dating, you know, and being transgender is hard. You know, dating in the real world, not being transgender is hard enough. But when you throw being transgender in the mix, it is kind of hard because, I mean, I could go up, you know, people ask, have asked me like you know do I like guys or girls I've always liked girls always will I've never liked dudes I'm sorry guys so if you um like me and you think I'm gonna date you I, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that but I just I've never been attracted to guys um doesn't mean we can't be friends you know you know I hate to put people in the friend zone like that kind of thing but you know it happened it's happened to me a number of times um so like you know people ask like you know, why do you, was being transgender, you know, being, you know, not being open and not being able to come out and say I'm transgender, was it, do you think that affected your past relationships? And I think a little bit it did because like inside I was just so upset that I couldn't be the person I was. Now, if I had come out years ago, like when I had a girlfriend or something, do I think that that would kill the relationship? I think so. Um, there are some people out there that will, you know, stay with you, that will, you know, uh, you know, accept you. And, and they should. If they love you, they, they should. You know, some people I know um, who have been with somebody and then they come out and they start transitioning, they'll separate for a little bit, see other people, and then they revisit and talk about things and maybe try again. You know, it's, it's a, because, you know, like I've always said, it's not just a process for me or for you guys. It's a process for them as well. So, like, people ask me all the time, oh, have you dated since your last relationship? And I said, no, you know, because it's the truth, I haven't. And it sucks because I see so many people out there who are happy with somebody. Um, and I want that, too. But, you know, I want somebody to love me for me, you know. Um, people say, well, why don't you date somebody from your support group? And it's like, you know, you hear the expression, um, don't mix business with pleasure. I kind of feel like that's, just, you know similar in a way if it makes sense guys I mean like I've met some really nice people whether it's at conferences support groups here online um, who are transgender and it's like you know there it's a lot you know so if they're going through something and like I'm going through something you know especially whether it's them you know going from you know male to female like me or if it's just you know um, a female in general you know um, it, it's not going to be easy, you know, so, like, I've had crushes on people, you know, and, like, you know, I've gotten friend-zoned, or, um, 
oh, I'm with someone, or, oh, I don't feel the same way about you, you know, kind of thing. And, you know, I used to get really kind of upset. But, like, it's like now, like, I kind of step back and look in the mirror and say, I like the way I am, you know. It's like, somebody made a comment to me, this this will make you guys laugh, but someone goes, well, what do you like about the human body the most? Um, and I was like, well, on, um, you know, female or male, and they're like, female because that's you know what you've always wanted to be and always who you are you know and I was like I can tell you as much right now I like the boobs I'm sorry you know you know I look in the mirror every day and I see my breast development and I'm just like damn I look good you know kind of thing and somebody said the other day they're like their joke was well when you become become a female you don't need a girlfriend because you can look in the mirror and you can you know admire yourself and whatever and it's like, I get that they're trying to be funny and stuff like that, but, you know, in my life, I've always wanted to get married and, um, you know, have spend a life with someone. And, you know, even though I've been single for so long, it's like, will that happen tomorrow? Probably not. Could it happen down the road? Yeah. You know, but right now I'm just enjoying me because right now with what I go through, it's a lot. You know, not just being transgender. Um, you know, I got work, I got school, I got... Um, dealing with bulimia which um i've been really really trying to you know eat you know like even if it's like just small like crackers or salads or something like that you know because i don't want to be unhealthy um and i don't want to have to be hospitalized or anything like that you know um and then um so like this morning I got up and like uh, this has nothing to do with dating or anything like that but I got up and because somebody asked me a question um, yesterday they're like well what's the best form of um, hormone therapy and I've heard from you know different sources articles online I've heard from people on YouTube I've heard from different doctors you know some people say that the uh, injection is the uh, most effective um, form of um hormone therapy you know i, I really don't know I'm, I'm gonna probably ask that question to my doctor because it, it's, it just got me curious you know like i've been you know taking um my testosterone blockers and my estrogen by mouth by my um you know by my pills here um and like i hate swallowing pills i really do like i hate when it gets stuck in your throat and you're like you're like choking on it and um so i'm gonna say you know hey is that is this the best form and you know because there's you know the pills there's the injection there's also a patch um but also a lot of people forget that everyone's body is different so how your body reacts to it like i mean there's people at the support group who have been on um estrogen and testosterone blockers and you know they say man you've been on it like um, a little bit less than I am, and you're more developed. And I'm like, it all depends on the body. It really does. Um, do I, I look at myself in the mirror, or even just a little while ago when I was in the shower, I said, you know, I'm feeling the curves of my body. Um, I'm looking at, you know, my chest and, you know, seeing the results from. And then, like, what I did was I actually took a picture of myself before I started, you know, hormone therapy. And I was like, okay, that's what I look like. And then I took a picture of myself, and this is what I look like now. Um, and as you as you guys can see, you know, through the... Uh, oops, sorry, got a little fuzz on my uh, shirt here. Um, you can see through, you know, these videos that I've, you know, changed, you know, not just... I mean, it's hard to see the physical change because I'm <laughs> not going to take off my clothes for you guys, you know, to show you that's a little inappropriate and probably get blocked or something on, you know, YouTube. But, you know... Um, again, I'm not like the, you know, typical girly girl, which I, I, I want to be, but like, you know, the nerdy side of myself, like, I mean, just sitting here, you guys can see my Star Wars posters in the background, you can see my wrestling action figures, you can see Pikachu over in the corner there, like, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm an all-around girl, if you know what I mean, you know, so, like, I can be funny and goofy, I can be pretty and sexy, I can be you know rough around the edges kind of thing um so like when you know it comes to hormone therapy you know again 
like everyone's different. I mean, I've seen some great transformations. I've seen um, a friend of mine who was like me, male, who transitioned into female. And if you saw her before and after pictures, it's like, oh my God, like you would not think they are the same person. And you know, that's what I like want to be like. I want to not be like, look like the same person. I want to look back at like the first video that I made here on YouTube and be like, wow, I don't look like that at all anymore. You know, um, because you know, like people ask, um, well, if you complete your transformation with, you know, surgery and everything like that, does your trans, does that mean you're not transgender anymore? And it's, I say, I say no. I've heard people say, oh, once you get surgery, you're not transgender anymore. And I, and I honestly, I don't like that. Um, I feel like even after you get surgery, it doesn't matter if you get, you know, uh, plastic surgery on your face or on your um, chest or, you know, whatever, you're still transgender. You're still a part of that community. And, you know, you don't want to lose that. Like, I would really like to do a lot more with um, the transgender community and everything like that because, you know, there are so many success stories out there of people who have transitioned. And then there's so many, like, um, I have a friend up where my stepmom lives who is having a hard time getting, um, you know, uh, um, the hormone therapy. Um, and, and it sucks because I really want to, you know, help her. And it's like, she's just kind of stuck. And I hear so many stories of all the time, like people are just like, oh yes, you know, you don't have insurance or, you know, you've like, you get assessed when you go to see a therapist who specializes in um, transgenders, um, and they'll they'll fill out that assessment. And if they feel that you are not competent enough to make the decision to be, you know, um, from female to male, um, male to female, they'll you know deny you. They'll write a letter to your doctor um, and say, yeah, I don't feel like this person is. Um, competent enough to make that decision and that sucks because like you know that's why like for me I lived a few years as a girl um like not on hormones and stuff like that because I wanted to see what it was like and then you know once I was like okay this is me this is this is what it's like I really like it you know I um you know made all the appointments you know I go to the doctor I make sure that you know I made sure that you know at six years old when I knew, I was like, you know, I wish at six I had made the decision, but at least I made it now, and I, you know, I made sure I had all my ducks in a row, and like, you know, I just actually started um, last weekend writing my second book, um, and I, I'm fooling around with the title a little bit, you know, and you guys can read about my journey um, from six years old to now, but like, you know, getting on hormone therapy was like the best feeling in the world. I remember the first day, you know, that I, you know, took my medication. I was like, this is the start. I mean, I had started before, but this is the real start, you know. And, you know, every day that I take it and every day that I wake up and every day that I am in this transition, I'm happy. You know, do I have some regrets and stuff like that? Of course, you're always going to. You know, for me, my biggest one is, you know, not being able to be myself for so long. You know, my other regret is, you know, my grandfather who just passed away, you know, he always knew me as his grandson. Um, I knew myself as his granddaughter, and he'll never know that. I mean, I know now he's probably watching up um, from above, you know, looking down on me and going, go for it, shoot for the moon, you know, because you're going to do great things. Um, so like I said, you know, getting your ducks in a row to be able to start hormone therapy is um, very important. Um you know, I have a great doctor and a great therapist. So if you're someone out there who's struggling or having trouble starting or whatever, um, you guys can, you know, message me and say, hey, can you help me out? And like, I'll be more than happy to give you the name of my therapist. Um, she and I do online therapy because she moved and I got to know her so well that I didn't want to have to tell my story to, some, you know, a million other people. Um, my doctor who I see up north, I can put you in touch with him and, you know, see what I can do for you. Cause I want to help you the way other people on YouTube and other social media accounts have helped me and get to this point in my life. 
so yeah um another year older here um i actually have to go and run some errands and get my starbucks coffee so i can actually wake up because I, I am kind of tired but i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you on the flip side